Good evening. Tonight I want to talk about Hurricane Maria and its track along the East Coast um, this weekend into early next week and what that means for places like North Carolina and will the storm actually make landfall in North Carolina? Um, and I think the answer to that will likely be no. Um, most of the models show the storm staying off the coast by at least a hundred miles and as far as rainfall, we'll be seeing lighter amounts along the Outer Banks. And the main threats really from the storm will be the strong rip currents, as well as tropical storm force winds um, in that region. Now, after the storm passes, we'll see these colder temperatures move in. We'll see, let's say, a morning low of 48 degrees in Roanoke, Virginia um, on Saturday morning. So that's going to be a big change for the Mid-Atlantic uh, this coming weekend. Now, as far as the storm itself, we can see the deeper greens well off the coast on the day Wednesday, with some of the lighter greens over the outer banks of North Carolina. And further to the west, we can see the approaching cold front extending from Michigan down to, let's say, Texas. And that will continue in our direction on the day Friday. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the day Wednesday and where the position of Hurricane Maria will be on the day Wednesday. And we can see the eye wall again about 100 to 150 miles off the coast of North Carolina. And then along the outer banks we can see these wind gusts of upwards of 45 to 50 miles per hour um, on the day Wednesday. But thankfully that won't last long. We can see here on Friday that the storm is well off the coast and has begun to really fall apart. Um, but at the same time, we have these colder temperatures that have moved into the area. And let's take a look at that. So in Vinci Sky, we can see that 48 degree temperature for Roanoke on Saturday morning. And if we move further to the north and east, we can see temperatures approaching the 30s, especially in areas of the Catskills of New York. And even up into the Adirondacks, we can see temperatures in possibly the lower 30s on Saturday morning. Um, it's important to note that on Saturday and Sunday we'll be experiencing these lower temperatures and the forecast even into that following Monday um, shows temperatures let's say lower 70s for highs and these 40s for lows. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how long that lasts as well as the track of Maria and seeing whether or not that's able to make landfall before it um, is kicked out to sea by that approaching cold front. Um, so please stay tuned and I look forward to posting another video and talking about it tomorrow night.